Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the best restaurant in Taiwan, in my opinion, is Tsin Tzu Tsai Kwan Restaurant, featuring the very best Peking-style Chinese cuisine. It was the top chefs who used to work at the palace in Beijing who opened this establishment. In 1949, when Jiang Jishi escaped to Taiwan from turbulent mainland China, it is said that he brought his own chefs with him to Taiwan. And these very chefs are the ones who started this renowned restaurant, Tian Tzu Tsai Kuan. Later, it was expanded to its current scale by renowned writer and gourmet, Zhu Yonghang. Aiming to spread royal Chinese food to Japan as well, Zhu opened a branch in Ginza, Tokyo. Today's challenger possesses the skills to recreate royal Chinese cuisine. Let me introduce him to you. Head chef of Tian Tzu Tsai Kuan, Japan, Tadashi Sugita. He fell in love with Chinese cooking, the art of taming the flames at 18. Later joining Tian Tzu Tsai Kuan at 24, perfecting his skills in royal Chinese cuisine. And at 27, his skills came to the attention of owner Chu Yonghang, who called him to his house to cook for him personally. You see, Chu Yonghan frequently hosted high-profile banquet parties, inviting dignitaries, celebrities, and the business elite. Mr. Chu, of course, is Chinese in heritage, so at first he did not allow Japanese chefs to handle major tasks in the kitchen in the beginning. Three years later, however, Chu appointed Sugita as head chef of his branch in Japan. Sugita's creations are born from battling and taming the flames. By mastering the fire, he is able to adjust the flavor and texture of sophisticated royal Chinese food. The idea is to entertain the emperor with great food by putting in a lot of time and work. Not making shortcuts is the essence of royal cuisine. He is the very first Peking-style chef to enter the kitchen stadium. And now, Sugita, command the flames in the kitchen stadium and show us the depth of royal Chinese cuisine. As a royal Chinese cuisine chef, I'll put my soul into everything I do.
Chinese cuisine from today's challenger, Peking style, our first time for that. And once again, joining us is actress Miyuko Takata. Glad to have you. Thank you for having me. Takata-san? Yes. Peking style, ever had it? I'm not sure if I can distinguish different types of Chinese food, actually. We'll learn about it today. All right. The real deal, Peking style. Yes. So enjoy it. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Dr. Always a pleasure. Okay, let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga. ちゅうごく all right, the first challenger in Kitchen Stadium whose cuisine of expertise, Peking style Chinese, the food served to Chinese royalty. Today it'll be food fit for an emperor. I promise to do my very best. Making their ascent into Kitchen Stadium, the nation's culinary leaders, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. Chen-san, please! Yes, sir! Chen it is! Challenger Sugita gonna test against the best in Szechuan cooking. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, the Szechuan sage. He's developed his own style of cooking, exploring and creating unique dishes in the fiery world of Szechuan cuisine. And now today, targeted by a master in another style of Chinese cooking. Taiwan the number one no Tenzu Saikan. その Ah, Shanghai Crab. If memory serves me right, there's a saying in China about this popular crab. It goes like this. Females in October, males in November. The ones with the vertical pattern on its belly are male. And the ones without are female. Female crabs are best when they are about to lay eggs in October, while males are best when they become the bulkiest in November. Thus, when eating Shanghai crab, keep in mind, females in October, males in November. All right, we're all over the map of China today. Iron Chef Chen, his Szechuan cooking against the Peking style of challenger Sigita. Shanghai crab is the theme with the flames of Chinese cuisine. Let's get it on! On it, cuisine! Bang a gong, we are on. Shanghai crab battle underway. Oh boy, Iron Chef Chen, high step into the stand, <laughs> trying to beat Sugita up there and have first dibs on these. Yeah, um, he's looking for the really fresh ones, I imagine, and maybe perhaps trying to get male or female. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the ones with the rounded bellies are females. All right. Yeah. And here, all females. So, so far, far females, yes. yeah. 
And this is Challenger Sugita's tray, a bevy of Shanghai crab beauties, all females there. Right, and it's the season when the eggs are perfect right okay, now. Okay, and so. Chen, some gender selection of his own right there. More females? Yeah, uh, you can tell with the horizontal lines on the bellies. So. All right, and with the other ones, with the lines running in the opposite direction, lines running vertically, they are males. Right, they have a pointed pattern, and so the one you see there was was a male. All right, and Chen, the first one back down from the stand. Sugita still going for more right here. And this is interesting. We're having Shanghai crab today, but not Shanghai style. It's Szechuan and Peking style. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Szechuan food, it's going to be hot and spicy mostly. On the other hand, Peking style tends to be a bit more milder, uh, using flour or starch more often than not. So we'll have Chen's hot and spicy red versus the challengers with starch and flour white. <laughs> Good way to put it, yeah. Hey, yeah. All right, okay, Iron Chef Chen's side now. He's already got some in the steamer uh, there. Steaming it, yeah. Uh -huh. Japanese cooking crabs usually boiled. Well, according to the Chinese, if you boil it, the essence of the flavor will be drained. Oh, hmm. okay. So in China, what they tend to do is steam them, and it's also a way to uh, kill any okay, bacteria. Okay, still well. on the Iron Chef side, Shanghai crabs live, getting their ya yas out, still <laughs> ah. moving and loading a number of them into that wok right there, hmm. all tied up and someplace to go. Meantime, Challenger side and starting to load these into his steaming apparatus. Right, as we mentioned, it's kind of the rule of thumb for Chinese cooking when you're dealing with, with crabs. Right. And after this, then they'll scrape out the meat and the eggs. You'll really? see that soon, yeah. Okay, and now on the Iron Chef side right mm. here. Oh, interesting, he's boiling them now. And yeah. quickly, yes, he's got uh, three different cooking methods it? underway here with the boiling and steaming and right. uh, the wok too. Yeah, exactly. A hat trick of cooking <laughs> methods, huh? Yeah, this is going to be very interesting to see how this all works all out. All right, Iron Chef Chen there. Kuzan. From the floor, Shinichiro to go. When Challenger Sugita first cracked open one of his chosen crabs and looked inside, his comment was, all right, a lot of meat and eggs. They're good crabs. I'm so relieved. Uh -huh. Now, he's picked out a total of 15 Shanghai crabs, both male and female. He said he wanted to make sure that he got both kinds, even though he did actually pick up more females. He said the reason that he did that is that he wants to use crab eggs to flavor some of his dishes. Back to you. All right, mm. thanks. Pretty thorough report for the first one there and now the iron chef here oh he's pulling off the legs uh, the, he take these out of the pot uh these i think are raw okay and getting together a collection of crab legs there <laughs> yeah you're right the legs are quite thin i didn't realize that yeah but there is meat in there so they will scrape that out okay okay and now breaking up the belly here yeah. oh that one's loaded isn't it uh, yes go ahead i spoke with iron chef chen and asked him why he made such a quick dash up to the ingredient stand today and he replied that it's hard to pick all good crabs with this particular crab so every second counts when choosing plus he says he also wanted both males and females sure enough wanted first okay. dibs up there yeah we should have put a stopwatch on him the way he burned <laughs> it up to the stand exactly yeah Okay, look at that. You see that? still moving there. Oh, look at that. That's the heart right there. Still beating. Wow. Can't possibly get any fresher than this. <laughs> I've never seen this. Crab Ooh. sashimi, anyone? <laughs> Eat to the beat? Oh. <laughs> Iron Chef Chen tearing it up from the start. The Szechuan Sage handling these Shanghai crabs locked in a battle with the country's King of Peking style. Yes. I asked Chen San about the last battle that he lost to a challenger, and he said, hey, win or lose, my only concern is how satisfied I am with my own dishes. That's the most important thing. If I'm satisfied, I'm a winner. That's the way I look at it. Yes, sir. And that goes under the heading, don't worry about what you can't control. And now here is Sugita. Yeah, these were the steamed ones, Steamed right? crabs. And now that their hearts are no longer beating, <laughs> cutting away the ties and uh, the orange color in the belly area there. Oh, yeah, those are that. those are the eggs there. Okay. Yeah. So those are female, obviously. Okay, right. Steamed. And the eggs there, steamed. You know, and in Japan, there's a, a similar crab that's available all uh -huh, over the country. Look. But check this out. Ooh. Crab legs? The crab oh, legs yes. he had. So from a blender then? Or, or Still with the, the shells blender, okay. there. Oh. Huh? For blending? I, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Unbelievable. I've never seen that. <laughs> Are the blades going to be okay? <laughs> Good point. Probably for a soup, yeah? Oh, All right. yeah. It'll be for flavoring, okay, I imagine. Okay, basically doing this for a stock then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, and they are struggling to yeah. get that going. Like, and now oh, they do, oh, finally. And hold on now. Still on the Iron Chef side, there's, whoa, a mishap <laughs> wow. over there. The liquid in the processor splashed all over the place. I Ooh. think they forgot to clip that lid down. Bad news over there. Saw that assistant struggling to get the top. Okay, now he's got it going and holding it down by hand this time. First try. 
try went out of control and the liquid splashing all over the place on the Iron Chef side. <laughs> yes. Challenger Sugita talking about his strategy today says Chen San's dishes will be flavored strongly, so I'll counter with subtle flavored dishes, the kind that were served to the elite class and royalty at the palace in Beijing. Oh. All right. Okay, so his dishes will be milder. It wouldn't nece necessarily be surprising us given right. his Peking style cuisine. I've noticed yeah. he used a lot of vegetable as well. And he's uh, working with some fish there, I believe. And for Kusan? Yes. Yeah, the Iron Chef's response to that strategy question was, I'm going to create dishes that are distinct with bold and sharp seasonings that will definitely distinguish mine from the challengers. Thanks. And of course, that means uh, hot in Chen's working <laughs> lexicon. Oh, no, wait a minute. What's this? Iron Chef's side looks like rice. Um, okay. Uh, he'll be adding crab meat to this. Oh. Okay. Oh, this will be good. Crab legs going in there. Or rice to be boiled together, maybe. That'll go in the rice cooker. Challenger now. Whoa. Oh, look, he's using two cleavers. Double barrel chopping oh, action. You. you know, and that's not just for the speed. It's a style to mince them properly. It, it makes it almost sticky. Really? Okay. There's theory to this, huh? Okay, this wasn't for a soup. From, from the processor. He wanted to use this as a stock. Oh, it's like a paella. Exactly. Wow. Man alive, this should be something else. Hey, the challenger. Oh, look, he's using two cleavers. Double barreled chopping action. And that's not just for speed, it's a way to mince them properly. It makes it almost sticky. Oh, really? Hmm. There's theory to this, huh? Oh, this wasn't for a soup. From the processor, he wanted this as a stock. Oh, it's like a paella. Exactly. Wow, man alive, this should be something else. With rice, this'll definitely get the digestive juices flowing. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. All right, looking at that one, the rice with the Shanghai crab, and now on the other side, the challenger spooning out, looks like eggs mm -hmm, here. Right. So one of his dishes here will be using some of these in-season Shanghai crab eggs. I think mm. we can say that's a definite, yeah. And because it's a rather labor-intensive task, getting the Shanghai crab eggs cooked, and scooped out after cooking or even prior to the assistance on both sides going to be playing a pretty important role today in this battle with this theme. One of the things the chefs uh, cooking here must do is shorten the time it takes to complete various tasks in a battle with the time limit of just 60 minutes. Right, it's a very tough battle today. Yeah, it is. But Chen San is smiling. What's going on? Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> just flashed a smile. Seemed a little forced, though, didn't it, from the Iron <laughs> Chef? <laughs> now, Challenger Suki Tend, as you can see already, the sweat glistening around the sideburns. He could use a wipe there. Yeah. Oh, now, crab now shells. The, yeah, the Iron Chef, he's going to be using these shells for something. Wow, almost translucent, these are. He'll use them in his dishes somehow. Maybe to stuff something in them? Uh, th you could be right, actually. Uh, maybe baking something in them, sure. Okay, now, yes, the other right sideburn area. Woo, rolling down the chin, too. <laughs> Sweat droplets working hard from the start. An hour's tough. It is, for this ingredient, very tough. Oh, look at Chen San. Okay, Iron Chef's side here. It looks so tedious. But what is it? Um... Okay, taking the meat out with chopsticks, I guess. All right, both of Chen's assistants being put to work on this. This is so time consuming. Yeah. I mean, this much work going into such a task, uh, extracting the meat from the shells of the Shanghai crab pieces, the two assistants doing that right there for the Iron Chef. Yeah, and think about the limited amount of meat for the effort. You know, for the layman like us, you know, we can just eat it with the shell, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt. All right, now on the challenger side, we'll pull back and take a look at that in the wok. What's this Onions oh, in there. Yeah, and crab meat as well. All right, and you can make that out in there. Oh, sorry, that's crab eggs, okay. I think, right? And yeah. the challenger with the taste test, tossing away the excess broth. Good man. Mmm, starting to enjoy the pleasant aroma of some seasoned crab meat over here as we check in on Chen's walk, and right there... Edible lily bulbs. Okay, and Looking some other items. Nice. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, he says he's added crab meat and crab soup to the ingredients that you're seeing here in this walk. Crab on crab, doubling down, not too shabby. You might say crabby. <laughs> That's cute, crabby. Now, this is going to be a great combination with the vegetables. And Chen with his taste test, a double dose of crab blended into this one. And now over to the challenger, scrambling something there. Oh. Oh, that's what he had earlier. Right, the one with the onions. Okay, the color has changed a bit. And the texture is a little different too. Now, if I was doing this, I'd put a little bit of curry power in. Yeah? It. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, and giving it another swirl, dish beginning Fukuzan. to take shape. Yes. Yeah, I again spoke with Challenger Sugita and asked him for a hint of what his dishes will turn out to be like. And he said they'll be typical royal Peking style dishes using crab and seafood. And because I know that Sichuan style is a lot of stir fried dishes, I'll be spending time with and relying on stewing most of mine. All right, thanks. So we're going to have both. Both men presenting a set of very contrasting dishes with the same theme. 
Tarashi Sugita, the challenger today, a Japanese man who's continuing the tradition of the top restaurant in Taiwan, which has a branch in Tokyo. And now 30 minutes gone, 30 to go is the the second half, yes. Another update on the challenger and the dishes that he's making, getting back to the walk that we were seeing a moment ago. I've just been informed that he's already added crab eggs to that dish. All right, th oh. and right there, you can see it. He's using flour. The flour, there is the white. Yeah, and that's used a lot in picking style. Uh, maybe to make some dim sum. Hey, that's one possibility, sure. All right, and the Iron Chef now, the stir fry out of the wok, into the tray. And uh, is this finished, you think? I mean, flavor-wise, would, I, I would think, there be more? Yeah, he was adding some salt and some other things earlier. All so right. It, it, it is flavored already. Oh, it's a shell, maybe. Yes. Yeah, the ingredients in this stainless steel container, you uh, may have noticed, include lily bulbs and crab soup, etc. But he has also added Parmesan cheese and evaporated milk, oh, okay. which you can probably guess right to add a thick texture. Okay. okay yeah. And uh, then what, what does he do with these? Well, it's like Takata-san said earlier, you know, stuffing them, right? Yeah, okay. he's gonna stuff them in the shells. Yeah, not for not for chilling. Okay, These will definitely in the go shell, into shells, and yeah. after that though, uh, and bacon. Bake them. Sure. Yeah. yeah. This right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, and Parmesan oh, cheese, right? Yes, go ahead. Iron Chef Chen is playing cheerleader in his corner, telling his assistants who are doing that tedious job of scooping out that meat, keep up the good work. What you're doing will determine the battle. All right, foot soldiers or hand soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> cleaned yeah. out crab shells standing by. Yeah, these will be stuffed. No doubt. No doubt about it now, huh? Okay, well, you see? Here we go. Okay, oh, Iron Chef now good. starting to fill them. And yeah. up close, almost personal, crab on crab in the stir fry, chunky. And this one will go into the oven, right? Oh, sure. yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Into the oven. Baked, not steamed. All right. You've never sounded more sure than right now. <laughs> You've got me convinced, Doc. And now the challenger's side. Whoa, he's oh, filling them up. Okay, so the shell's stuffed with something here, too. When Look, did he do this? Looks just like the other side. Oh, those are shark fins. All right. Yeah, well, this is not typical. Not oh. at all. Shark fin in shell. Yeah. And these should turn a nice golden brown. These aren't shark fins, they're onions. Oh, sorry, you're right. <laughs> right, right, we saw that before then. <laughs> okay, Sugita going with an onion filling. Yeah, uh, wishful thinking on my part, I guess. But the two chefs are doing similar things. Uh, very much so, yeah. Right, and both sides quite creative. One side, Chen's stir-fried vegetables with crab egg flavor stuffed into the shells, and on the other side, here it is with onions. Yeah, and both being quite creative, as you mentioned, trying to do the most, but I think the difference will be in the flavor. Okay, now, challenger Sigita Sai with that flour there has made some dough and has set up a bunch of pieces of the dough right there on the chopping stump. And uh, looks like he is going to be making some dim sum pieces. And let's see him roll right here. Check it out. Wow, quick. Very, yeah. Okay, that was flat in a hurry. <laughs> Done, and now reaching for another. But uh, first, a sip. One last shot for the roll. <laughs> shot. 20 minutes to go. Okay, and just heard the 20 minute call, 20 minutes left in the battle, and let's take a look on slow mo replay of the challenger's dough rolling job. Gonna use these for some Shanghai crab dim sum, and look at that as he quickly gets that together, and now a pouch, a little pouch ready to go right there. Yeah. Some type of gyoza? Looks like, yeah. So gyoza and a soup, maybe. Maybe, or steam it. Could, could, he? could he have another option? Uh, possible. Yes. A quick review of the ingredients that are being wrapped in these gyoza skins show prawns pork meat, ginger, crab meat, and crab eggs. Wow. Okay, wow. Yeah. Iron chefs now. Okay, now this is shark's fin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not onions. Not onions. Okay, maybe for Not a soup onions. then. Yeah. Uh, eggs is there. Okay, regular eggs. Mm -hmm. And he's added something else right there. Good looking dish. Nice and gold in this color. This golden red. Yeah. yeah, metallic almost. Wow. So the color of this one looking pretty royal indeed. <laughs> Good point, yeah. Iron Chef Chen and now Challenger over his steamer and removing something. And now the gyoza going in. Yeah, you'll be steaming that. Lid on, it's cooking. Yes. Yeah, when Challenger Sugita heard the 20 minutes to go call, he started quietly mumbling to himself. And what he said was, oh boy, I may not make it. Hmm. Oh boy. Boy, Challenger Tarashi mm. Sugita tightening up, feeling under pressure. That's the thing that can affect even the best chefs just right. not used to cooking against and the clock. And Yes. Yeah, getting back to the ingredients in one of the Iron Chef's dishes, the uh, one that he had in the wok, the spicy looking one, contains shark fins, grated Kyoto carrots, crab eggs, and soft roll. And into that mixture, he added one more ingredient saying, oh yeah, this goes well with crab too. The ingredient was black vinegar. Black vinegar? Okay, oh. yeah, black vinegar. It's a heavy vinegar from China. It's a perfect match for this crab.
Instagram. Okay, Absolutely take your great. word for it. And moments <laughs> ago, you heard it. 15 minutes left, and look. Okay, so he's deep frying this. Ooh. Deep frying them right there. The Challenger's stuffed crab shells. And these are the ones with onions, right? Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, onion stuffed in there. Well, actually, it's crab stuffed. Uh, with yeah, onion <laughs> stuffed. <laughs> yes, okay. Now, the Iron Chef is here. Is baking them. Yes, on the other side. Looks like Chen's going to give his some top heat right there. And on the challenger side, deep frying the shells. And right here, look, one of the assistants already decorating this dish, broccoli surrounding it there. Yeah. Okay, and this is uh, red snapper. He had it earlier. He fried, yeah. And it's not finished yet, though. I'm, I'm thinking he'll pour sweet and sour sauce over it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Mm, sweet and sour <laughs> over fried snapper. Yeah, well, it's my job on the line here. He better be listening to okay, me. Now, <laughs> in this walk, I think matsutake mushrooms. Okay, and here we go. Um, starch, making it thicker, sweet and sour sauce. And this is a crab sauce? Yeah, there's I, I definitely think so, crab yeah. in there. Okay. And you make the call, Doc. This one, this sure, for sure is going to be poured over the fried that's, red snapper, huh? That's where my money's going, but I'm worried if he's got crab meat in that or not, though. Anybody notice? I hmm. support Hattori-san. Mm -hmm. All right, Tokyo, you back up right there. Hattori-san? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Challenger Sugita seems to be in trouble, and a very worried Tony confided in me, saying, you know, the stove isn't powerful enough for what I need. What? Uh, never heard that uh -oh. before, right. saying the stove's not hot enough here. Well, this stove that you see here is about ten times more powerful than a regular one used at home. Really? I, I mean, take a look. If you can't make do with that heat... <laughs> well, some Chinese chefs actually use stronger ones. We'd though. have to have the fire brigade in here, then. <laughs> well, let's see if he still says that after the battle is of Ova. And now the Iron Chef side scooping this one out onto the serving dish. Nice color and consistency. Oh. Oh, you think you know? Chen San will have his shark's fin soup on one side to make a two-colored soup. Oh, a two-tone soup, the Tai Chi symbol, maybe. Like your yin and yang? That's yeah. my guess. Well, that could very well be. Okay, well, he did leave that off to one side. Okay, oh, now look here. The challenger has added cornstarch, right? Where's that at? Oh, right there, you okay. see? Okay. Yeah. And thickening up. And oh, more, yeah. more white, too. Okay. And most likely, this is the sauce to go over oh, the fried please. snapper. Go, go, go. Yeah, there oh, we go. Yes. <laughs> Got it. All right. <laughs> all right. Nailing it all the way. Oh, look, the Challenger's added cornstarch. Where's that at? Right in here, you see? Oh. Okay, and thickening up and uh, more white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. And most likely, this is the sauce to go over the fried snapper. Oh, let's hope so. Go, go. Oh, yeah, oh, there yes. We go. yes. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Got it. That eh, was nothing. Five minutes. <laughs> Nailing it all the way. And now five minutes left in the battle. Crunch time for these two to bring in their Shanghai crab dishes. Aha, uh -huh, I was right. Oh, yeah, the Tai Chi symbol. Iron Chef yeah. side. Right, look at that. Oh, yeah, the symbol of the universe. You've got a little partition in there. <laughs> yeah, with cabbage. And, and that's Shanghai cabbage in there? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drawing the line between yin and yang. Okay. And so he'll pour the dark colored soup onto this side here. And the cabbage is the border then. Yeah, oh, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, and now the challenger side, gyoza pulled out of the steamer. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Pork, steamer. prawns, and crab meat in them. Woo, and just saying that kicks up the appetite. <laughs> and he's finally put the shark's fin in there. All right. So I guess a soup? Shark fin soup. This one's similar to Chen San's dish. Yeah, he didn't maintain the shape of the fin here. That means... That's, you call it a soup. Oh, right. I see. <laughs> Crab shells. Oh, mm. yeah, the shells. Okay, okay yeah. and looks to be a done deal here. This is the deep-fried one in crab shell. Plating those right now, mm -hmm. and they had onions in them, correct? Right, yeah, good. the onions okay, were Okay, with inside. onions in there, and uh, getting that one plated, and now look what he's making here. Uh, oh. Looks like tea. Okay, oolong tea and some ginger juice to be mixed into it. Did he say that? I, I think Ota told us that before, right? Really? I missed that. Okay. Do you make tea this way in China? Uh, no, not like this. <laughs> Probably because of the time. Right. Normally you'd have a teapot. You know, has, this man here today has to hurry up and go. Yeah, it's almost looking like an English tea. And now on the challenger side, several of the dishes coming into our purview, and that one's an appetizer, almost a salad. He's got the three deep fried, and now three minutes to go in the battle. Home stretch, Iron Chef Chen coming down. And okay, so the Iron Chef, what's he up no to No sense here? of urgency. No, it looks like he's done with this and one. And these here. will be served as is right here. Ooh, yeah, good. and did I notice some ginger in the Challenger's tea? What I'd say? 
I said that, right? Ginger tea? Sounds like an Indian tea almost. Yeah, well the theory is the crab meat cools your body down so you eat ginger to warm your body up again. And now you can even make out the ginger in the tea oh, right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. okay. All right now. Ooh. The Iron Chef's rice Ooh. cooker opened. Oh boy. Looks oh. so good. Again, those <laughs> juices are starting to flow. What a great battle this has been. Shanghai crab to Sejuan sage. Iron Chef Chen challenged by the king of Pekingese, Tadashi Sugita. No, let's get a shot of the challenger over okay, here. Okay, and there he is, his shark oh, fins. Yes. Yeah, the shark fin soup there. It's actually a little bit thicker than what you'd call a regular soup, but for all intents and purposes, that's what Fit we'll call it. Fit for royalty, and now placing on the surface there, Ooh. The, oh. the gyoza. It goes oh, okay. on top of it. Steamed yeah. gyoza being warmed, resting on the surface of a savory looking shark fin soup, courtesy of the challenger crab and the gyoza, and now the iron chef oh, boy. coming to rest. Yeah, and there we go with the Tai Chi symbol Two-tone there. Two-tone soup. <laughs> and, and the symbol Chen. stands for the uh, universe or infinity in oriental philosophy. And I tell you, this is one you might want to be eaten forever, this dish here. <laughs> but the philosophy is kind of deep there. Yeah, very deep, yeah. But we can eat. And the Iron Chef, and now scooping off the excess, I'll take that home if you don't mind. Okay, a minute to go. The final 60 seconds of a cross-cuisine battle within the larger scope of Chinese cuisine. The challenger's Peking style, Tadashi Sugita, giving the Iron Chef a run for his money with the theme ingredient, Shanghai Crab. And now an up-close shot of the Iron Chef Shanghai crab rice, all kinds of in-shell pieces cooked along with the rice in the rice cooker. And there, a scan of the output on the challenger side. Thought he could make out at least four dishes there, including his deep-fried onions housed in crab shells. Sugita concerned about finishing his dishes, but looks like he will have his four on time. And don't tell me the Iron Chef didn't get a workout in this one. He's probably dropped a kilogram in sweat in the course of this battle. But Chen is done his Szechuan dishes, promising us a real contrast with the challengers. And look at the sweat lining his hat. Man alive, I've never seen him sweat that much before. Not even Two, waiting for a towel. One. Final seconds tick down, and that's it. The cooking's done. The Shanghai Crab Battle is over. Ah, uh, you were calm throughout most of the battle. Well, at first I wasn't pacing myself uh -huh. quite right. So right. Timing was a difficult factor. Uh-huh. So you panicked a bit towards the end. That's correct, yes. The gyoza yes. isn't as delicate as normal. Hmm. Um, I'm not satisfied with that. I see, but the dishes other than the gyoza are okay, right? Well, with the given time, you know, I, I did the very best that I could. So do you think you can win? Mm, more importantly than winning or losing, I, uh -huh. I managed to show my skill, and I'm happy about it. Okay, thank you. Wow, you were in top gear the whole way. Oh, food's good. I did my best. So yes. everything's thumbs up? Oh, yeah, it's delicious dishes. I'm just relieved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any thoughts or comments about Chef Sugita? Yeah. Well, I know him quite well, I guess. Uh, Peking style, yeah? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you seem a little burned out today. I'll say. Challenger Sugita is offering four dishes and Chinese tea. First, seafood and vermicelli salad. This appetizer is loaded with seafood. The sauce, which includes oriental ginger, prevents the crab's soft roe from overpowering the other items. Second, gyoza in Shanghai crab sauce. Crab meat's also contained in the gyoza. The texture of crab meat combined with shark fins adds depth to the experience for the tasters. Fried Shanghai crab, both chefs deciding to stuff the shell, challenger Sugita choosing to stuff with stir-fried onions and crab meat. The sweetness of onions blends well with the crab meat in this deep-fried item. And last, fried red snapper in Shanghai crab sauce, a typical royal Peking-style dish, mild and gentle in flavor, with the subtle sweet and sour sauce poured over the fried snapper. And the challenger includes ginger tea, a must-have in China when crab is served. Iron Chef Chen counters with three dishes. First, baked Shanghai crab and vegetables. Stuffed in crab shells are vegetables and crab meat with Parmesan cheese adding a surprisingly nice touch to this Chinese delicacy. Second, two-tone crab soup. Two distinct flavors are offered in a Tai Chi symbol. The spiciness of hot bean paste and sweetness of cabbage work together to heighten this dining experience. Last, Shanghai crab rice. The Iron Chef says the rice didn't turn out exactly as he had hoped for the concluding dish, but the flavoring is spot on, and the crab meat will be enjoyed in a black vinegar sauce. Xiu 
Yong Han. He oversees the top restaurant in Taipei and has established a branch of it in Tokyo, where he has put this man in charge of the cooking. Today's challenger, Peking style chef extraordinaire, Tadashi Sugita. He's primed for a showdown with the Szechuan Sage, Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient. It's the time of the season for Shanghai Crab. Challenger Sugita sweats their completion but manages to finish a set of four dishes. The Iron Chef comes in with one less dish in his tasty trio. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the Shanghai Crab Battle are novelist Tamio Kageyama, actress Mayuko Takata, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Sugita. You know, it's more soothing than it appears. That's probably due to the pleasing presence of ginger in the sauce. It's such a mellow flavor, and you combine various seafoods in this, which are all very well orchestrated. It's definitely very easy for me to eat. I love it. Well, I was wishing for more crab eggs in this, but I was looking for the crab meat in this at first, but the flavor was very nice. Now Sugita will do the honors, serving his gyoza. I was planning on serving royal dim sum called goldfish gyoza, but because of time I serve shark fin gyoza. This is the season when crab roe is at its best, and shark's fins have absorbed it so well into the fins. It's so nice to enjoy that first, and then you go for the gyoza with the sauce there all around it. It may appear grotesque. Mm, oh, oh, no, so no, no, not at all. Good. The sweetness of onion is well accentuated in this, but this is beyond typical Chinese food. It almost feels Western in some way, but the crab and onions match very well in the shell. Mm, well, I think it's because the of the onions that make this dish taste so Western to me, don't you think? Mm. And the visual looking like a croquette. And now serving his concluding dish. The red snapper tastes good. Normally, if you do it like this, you tend to overpower the fish. But the crab also helps the red snapper speak up for itself. There's a nice accent to the flavor. If you eat a lot of crab meat, it'll cool your body too much. So this ginger tea will warm you up. Mmm, the ginger adds such a nice aroma. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. Well, Sugita-san represents Peking style, so I wanted to do at least one strong Sichuan dish. And for the other two, uh, I wanted to express the natural flavor of the crab just in a straightforward manner, you know, you see? Delish. Mmm. Mm. Mm. The vegetables and the crab, the crab meat are harmonized well and mm, very nicely done. The challenger's version, in my view, was overpowered by the sweetness of the onions. The crab was secondary, uh, supporting the onion. But in this particular dish, the crab was mm, the most important element. Now serving his two-tone soup. Please mix the two together before you eat it. The flavor is so complex, when you mix it, it becomes even more complex. But the crab is there, surely there it is. This is so mysterious and oh, so good. The cabbage really adds to this in the thick flavor. Yes, cabbage is in season right now. Okay, now comes the rice. A lot could be riding on this one. Mmm, nice. It's like, I feel like my body is lifted, like the aroma comes to you from the inside. I like this very much. I can see the eggs shining in this here and there. Not too much crab meat in it, but full of crab flavor. Mm, yeah. Who's gonna grab the Shanghai crab verdict? We'll find out when we return.
小解析も見つめていたであろう今日の戦い四川と北京その壮絶なぶつかり合いに中国四大料理の奥深さを改めて感じましたそれでは発表します Today, another exhibition of what makes Chinese cuisine truly world class. Challenger Sugita, a remarkable display of his Peking style cooking skills. Iron Chef Chen standing up for Sejuan. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tezujin Ching Kaisi! It's the Iron Chef! Chen wins it! Iron Chef Chen, his Sejuan cooking prevailing over the Challenger's Peking style. Both men and their cuisines with Shanghai Crab coming together. The Great Wall, no barrier today. The unifying force provided by Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Yeah.